A pleasant good morning. Welcome to Transwest Truck Trailer RV. We're located in Frederick, Colorado. Today, you guys asked for it. You guys love this color. We got another one in stock. This one is a 2021 Mercedes-Benz Sprinter van, 2500, 4x4 with the upgraded wheels and tires. Uh, this one is bare bones, high roof. We're going to show you some of the measurements, uh, give you some ideas to go with those units. Again, if you're looking for a camera van, if you're looking something for commercial use, this unit is ready for whatever you decide to do with this unit. So let's take a nice look here. Again, this color was popular when we had it on our lot. Uh, this is another one that came in from our sister company and just an awesome unit. This one only has 216 miles. So we're gonna take a look underneath the hood. So what you guys are looking at right now is a 3.0 liter V6 turbo diesel engine. And this one is a Mercedes here. So you're looking at about 188 horsepower and about 365 foot-pounds of torque. So again, guys, only 260 miles. So this engine is pretty much brand new. Still tons of warranty left. If you guys are curious on warranty, give me a call. I will send that out to you. But with the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter vans, you will not find a battery underneath the hood, but you will find uh, those positive studs. So you have a positive stud right here. And of course you got a ground on the inner well here. You have your window washer wiper fluid. You got your power steering fluid. You got your radiator fluid. And of course this one uh, is a diesel. So you do have your depth tank located right here. I like the position where they put this depth tank. So if any mishaps in terms of spilling or whatever, it does have a little drain pipe here. But again, very easy to wash out because with that fluid, when it overflow and it spills, it creates this crystallized, uh, you know, uh, uh, thing around it. So all you guys gotta do is just wash it out. So very easy to wash out instead of having it in the engine and having to wash out your whole engine if it, because you get a spill. Mercedes-Benz uh, badge up front. This area here is a nice little step. So if in case you need to clean your windshield, you have a nice little step to, to do that. I'm gonna close this up. Let's talk about the wheels and tires. We got the BF Goodrich all-terrain tires. And those are 245 70 R17s. And we do have those black Rhino alloy rims. So nice looking rims here. Kind of makes this Sprinter van a little more beefier. Again, it is a 4x4, so it does raise it up a little bit more. Uh, looking at the driver's side or the front end. As right now, I got the seats turned around. Once we go inside, I'll show you what it looks like. But again, very easy to turn around if you're ready to drive. Or if you're ready to work, you can turn it around, create a desk. Right underneath the driver's seat, you do have access to all your fuses. So if in case you're ready to build up this Sprinter van, you could actually add the fuses over here. This is access to your battery underneath here. All your light options. These seats are heated. So you do have your heated switch right here. And you will have another heated switch on the other door for your passenger seat. Power locks, power mirrors. You do have folding mirrors on this one. It does have blind spot monitor, storage within the doors, and I'll show you where you can find more storage. Access to your diesel tank, right on the driver door. Once you close this hatch and you close the door, your fuel is protected. Same tires in the back. As we come around here, like I mentioned, it is a Sprinter van, 2,500, four by four. This one does come with a 5,000 pound bumper pull hitch with a seven pin hookup for your trailer, or if you pull in a car. And of course, those wide open doors, which I like a lot, especially if you're gonna use this for commercial use. If you wanna go in and out of the vehicle with products 
wood, pipes, whatever the case may be, you have this wide view, won't be hitting the doors. And if you're gonna use this for camping, you could put a nice little net down here, allow breeze to come in and out of that camper uh, if you decide to build it that way. But again, having it all bare bones, I would call this all open up. You have enough options here to run wiring, insulation, and then you can start building shelving, but you have access to all the panels open so you could create or design this the way you want it. It does have D-rings throughout the floor. <clears throat> so you got four in the back, so two on each side. You got two in the center and two all the way in the back. So for all those who are new to Sprinter Vans and how much space it has, I'm gonna start off from the back here to the where the door will close. So that'll be a little over, a little under 130 inches long. Gotta remember not to make it snap back on my finger again. <laughs> so width here is about 70 and a half inches. And then on the wheel on the wheel well, you have about 53 inches. And I'm just gonna go up top. I didn't mention it's a high roof. I'm about 5'10-ish. <laughs> so I'm gonna start from the highest part of the ground. And it's about 76 and a half inches tall. So tons of headroom. Even if you put a, a ceiling on here, or even though you insulate it or whatever, you still have enough headroom here. And of course, how wide it is, you could actually, um, if you decide to make this a camper, you have enough room uh, to put a bed in here. But again, it all depends on your creativity and what you decide to do with this unit. Again, you could add shelving over here, put a desk back here. And as we come in, you guys could see, you could sit, have a nice workstation for you and your partner or just you. You could you keep this as your, your, your seat facing the driver's side or turn it around. And if it's only you working, you could have a desk here for yourself. Or if you decide to make it a camper, you can make, you could create this long table that could fold and then create this as your dining table, work, workstation. Um, there's so much you could do with a Sprinter van like this. But let's come around, see that wide open door on the side, the sliding door. Again, a nice big entrance. If you don't want to use that back door, you could come in from here. Uh, a couple of things I've seen some people add is running boards. So you could actually add a running board over here, add some steps to go in and out of the, in and out of the front cab. So, so many different options. And we have glass on this one and glass on the back doors. If you want to create some windows, you could customize those as well. So, Let's come in, let's come in and kind of go over some of the stuff here. Let me bring this a little forward so I could turn it around. All right, so as we turn up front here, I'm gonna start this unit. It is a push to start. These are what your keys look like. So as we start off this right now, we're gonna look at your front display area here. The red on this Sprinter van icon uh, shows you that the doors are open. So if in case I do open the driver door or passenger door, it will tell me while I'm driving if I have any of those doors open. Once you close that, you will see that red disappears. So a nice little feature here to indicate that a door is open before you drive off. Right underneath that, this is your depth level. So your death fluid is filled. Um, it is flashing right now, so that's just because of the, the camera lensing on this LED um, screen. So it's not flashing in real life, guys, so uh, take, take note of that. Over here, you have your diesel fill. So right now it's on a half tank. When you do purchase, it will be on a full tank, so don't worry about that. 
everything will be filled up and cleaned and make sure it's ready. On the steering wheel here, you have a few different options here. Um, right here, this is your area to toggle through your display on here. Like I said, it has 216 miles. And then you can go and toggle through the different options here. Right underneath here, you do have your cruise control. So you can set that up right here. And on this side, everything to do with the stereo, you can control that. So you have a little trackpad on this that will go for the different options on your stereo. You have volume controls. You have your hands-free calling. And of course, voice control as well. As we look at the stereo, again, we've went through that, but this one does have a rear view camera and you do have three different options on that, three different views. So if you wanna, again, this screen is touch screen. So if you want this wide view, a smaller view, or if you wanna look at your bumper pool, it will give you that view as well. You could exit that. Telephone, you could set up your telephone via Bluetooth, your radio and media. So you could go through the different options of USB, AM, FM, radio, and of course, you got your different options here for uh, your driving assist, your vehicle, lights, and of course, the system. Down here is all your AC controls. Remember, the front seats are heated. You got cup holders, you got storage in here, and of course, you got storage up front here as well. So you got tons of storage here. You could actually plug in via USB in here. And of course, you got a 12 volt in here as well. When it comes to storage, you got more shelves up here. And again, a glass case holder, all your interior lighting. And of course, again, there's so much you could do. This is an empty shell, so you could create your dream RV or your dream workstation or your on-the-go um, commercial vehicle. So if you guys are interested in this unit, my number will be at the bottom of the screen. This is the last of this color of the 2021. So um, if you guys are interested in this, we do have a 2022 on the lot as well that I did a previous video on last week. So same, similar style, different year. Super low mileage, again, 216 miles, not 1,000, just 260 miles. So low mileage for a vehicle like this and again there's tons of stuff you could do with this unit under you know having to buy a brand new rv looking sprinter van so again thank you guys for tuning in today we'll see you guys back here tomorrow for another video and stay tuned for more transverse live videos today on the rv side and i will talk to you guys soon on this vehicle